All right, so we're in 2019. I've already talked about all the toys that I liked in 2018. It's time to look ahead. Let's look forward. Let's talk about the toys I am most excited about that we already know of for 2019. Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and I thought it would be really fun to look ahead. We already know about some of the toys that are coming out in 2019, and I'm really excited about a lot of them. And let's go ahead and talk about some of those toys. Now, as I've already mentioned, I did already cover all of my favorite toys that were released last year. So make sure you head on over and check that video out as well. But let's dive right into it. Here are the toys that I am most excited about that we know of for 2019. I'm gonna go ahead and kick things off with some of the awesome stuff coming out from NECA Toys, specifically the Alien vs. Predator arcade game figures. I feel like I've had these on pre-order forever, but they are finally coming, and actually coming very soon. In fact, I might be getting them after I put this video up right away, because I think they've got a release date of this month, which is really exciting. I love the Alien vs. Predator arcade game. Uh, I love playing it anytime I go to the Galloping Ghost, which is an awesome arcade in the Chicago area, if you ever have a chance to check it out. Uh, it's a game that I always have a lot of fun playing all the way through, so getting some toys based on it is exciting. And I've always loved what NECA's done with their video game inspired toys, and it's going to be really cool getting some of the aliens and predators that are seen in that video game, but what I love the most is that we're also getting the human characters that you can play as in the game. I mean, we're getting an arcade inspired Dutch, which looks nothing like the Arnold Schwarzenegger version in the movies. I think that's awesome, and I can't wait to check these out in person. Let's keep talking about NECA toys. In fact, that's going to be quite the theme in this video because they've had a lot of things that they've announced that I'm really excited for that are coming out this year. And another batch of figures from them that should be coming up real soon is their next wave of Kenner-inspired alien figures. That's right, I love when they do their Kenner throwbacks, and this particular wave of alien figures looks incredibly exciting, especially since that snake alien is in there. Holy cow, that's going to be an amazing figure. I can't wait. I can't wait. Give it to me now, NECA. Let's do it. I'm really excited for these. And hey, more Kenner figures, please. Let's keep them coming. Keep doing it. I love them. All right, let's shift gears a little bit. Let's talk about what Super 7 is doing for Masters of the Universe. And while we know that there's going to be a lot of really good classics figures coming out this year, we know that they just revealed a new wave of Club Grayskull figures based on the Filmation figures. Again, I talked about those, so check that video out. Uh, and we know at Toy Fair, in just a few short weeks, they're going to be announcing a brand new wave of classics. And while that stuff is awesome, and I love collecting classics, Here's what I'm really excited about. Their new vintage 5.5 inch Hero and Eldor. That is right, my friends. Look, my heart is always gonna lie with that original vintage Masters of the Universe toy line. And when Super 7 first announced that they were gonna be doing new figures in the 5.5 scale, the two figures they had me the most excited about were Hero and Eldor, specifically because these were figures we were supposed to get back in the 80s and never did. So these right here feel like a real continuation of that vintage toy line that I love so much. They've been showing these for what feels like forever, but 2019 should be the year that these are finally released. I have them on pre-order. They look amazing with those vintage-inspired card backs for the Powers of Grayskull line, the canceled line that never happened, and we're even going to be getting our hero with that VAC metal shiny gold armor, which is exactly how he should be. I am amped for these figures, and I hope that these are the start of more figures that are based on some of those concept or canceled figures that should have been in the vintage line, because that, to me, is the most exciting thing to get from this lineup. Boss Fight Studio has been crushing it with their Bucky O'Hare line, so I'm going to be excited for anything they put out in that series. And they just recently put up for pre-order Bruiser the Berserker Baboon, and he looks amazing. 
he's gonna be one of their first like real deluxe figures in this line because he is much bigger than the rest of the figures. They really did him justice because they sculpted him to be a lot bigger than the rest of the figures. So he costs a little bit more, but holy cow, he looks gigantic. He's got an amazing sculpt and he looks like he's just gonna be another fantastic figure in this brand new line of Bucky figures. I really hope Boss Fight keeps the train rolling because I was such a fan of the original Hasbro line. It was a shame that it never really got to be what it was supposed to be, and so far, Boss Fight is crushing it with this line. So let's keep them coming, Boss Fight. I can't wait for Bruiser. Oh, would you look at that? We are right back to NECA toys. I, I can't help it. NEC is doing a lot of amazing things that I am really excited about. And how could I not be excited about this movie style shredder in their quarter scale lineup? Oh my gosh, they have been teasing this thing and teasing this thing, and we have yet to get a full reveal of him, but all the teasers are making this look like it is going to be a seriously epic toy. And I know what everybody's already saying, let's hope that we get this in the six inch scale to fit in with our other movie turtles. And, you know, I have a feeling that NECA's got plans for that, but we got to focus on this quarter scale one first. I'm definitely going to be picking it up to put right alongside my quarter scale movie turtles, and I can't wait for them. But hey, while we're talking about those six inch Ninja Turtles from NECA Toys, the one thing I think I am the most excited about so far for 2019 is hopefully the release of that Dimension X set. Now we don't know for sure what the actual release is gonna be for this. We don't know where it's gonna be. I am right now just hoping that it's gonna be in 2019 because we've seen it shown off for the past two San Diego Comic-Cons in a row. This of course is the set that includes both of the rock soldiers like General Trag, uh, Slash who looks amazing, and just last year they revealed that the fourth figure in the set is Leatherhead. Now these are all based on their appearance in Turtles in Time, the video game, so they do have more of a video game paint deco rather than an animated series paint deco, but the sculpts look amazing, they look fantastic, and I want them so bad. So NECA, please release these. Please tell us some good news and that these are going to be coming out in 2019, because if they are, they are definitely the figures I am so far most looking forward to this year. And that's it, that's my list so far of some of the figures I am currently most excited to buy and possibly review. Yeah, probably I'll review all of those, but mostly just I wanna put them in my shelves, I wanna put them in my collection, I am amped for them. And here's the exciting part, guys. We are only a few short weeks away from New York Toy Fair, which is where all these toy companies are gonna be revealing all kinds of new product coming out in 2019. So I'll probably have a brand new list once we get past that event. But also, I'm gonna be there like always, covering the event with interviews, with videos of the show floor, with lots of footage of all the new reveals, so make sure you stay tuned right here to the Pixel Dan channel for the latest and exciting new videos from the event. Until next time, my friends.